vacuum pumps require a drive system or an energy source to operate. Whatever drive system you're using must be sized and calculated correctly for the pump to work properly. In most cases, power is supplied to the pump by way of a PTO or a power takeoff, which is driven by the vehicle's engine. Either over or under speeding the pump's drive shaft will cause catastrophic pump failure and possibly damage the entire vacuum pump or system. As a result, it is very important that the power takeoff feeding the pump is operating at the correct RPM. It should be noted that most power takeoffs do not translate one-to-one -one from the engine to their output, meaning that the RPM you see on your dial in your truck will not necessarily be the same as the RPM provided to the pump. And in some cases, even when you know what the RPM coming out of your PTO should be, it is best to tack the coupling cub to confirm that the PTO is supplying the right RPM. The best way to test the RPM going into your pump is to use a tachometer, which we can provide. Simply stick the provided reflective tape onto the hub of the coupling going into the pump, or another surface spinning at the same rate as the shaft of the pump, and hold the tachometer laser on the path of the reflective tape as it spins. Try to hold the device straight on and wait for the reading to stabilize before writing it down. All of our vacuum pumps operate at 1,000 to 1,600 RPM, and our FB2000 blower operates at 3,300 RPM. Check the instruction manual of your pump to determine the operational RPM. Lastly, the drive system must allow for the PTO to engage slowly with the pump. If the PTO is engaged heavily, or slammed on as we say, it will deteriorate all drive system components prematurely and may damage the pump. The main takeaways are, higher or lower RPM doesn't lead to corresponding higher or lower performance in your pump. Always tack your pump at the hub or on the actual shaft as the RPM coming out of your PTO may not be what you think it is. Always engage the PTO softly to ensure no damage to your drive system or your pump. The most common cause of premature pump failure and poor performance is continued heat generation due to operating the pump at an incorrect RPM. While you may think that lowering the RPM will increase the life of the pump, decrease heat generation, or even help cut costs, this is actually not the case. Too slow can generate more heat than too fast in some cases. If the pump is operated at the correct RPM and your oil levels and drive system components are regularly inspected, your pump will use less oil and keep operating well past its expected life. That's why we call it one tough pump.